for joining us. A foster mum in York says she stands to lose hundreds of pounds every year because of the government's spare room subsidy, which critics have called the bedroom tax. Justine Whiteland fosters two children. They sleep in separate rooms, but under government rules, one of the bedrooms is classed as unoccupied. So she's having to pay £14 every week back to the government. Here's Spencer Stokes. They're trying to tell me that this bedroom's not occupied and clearly... A foster child's bedroom, but in the government's eyes, it's a spare room in rented social housing. So foster mum Justine is being penalised. She's had her housing benefit cut by £14 every week. It's wrong. We shouldn't have to pay it. And it doesn't matter if it's £14 or £40. As a foster carer, the fact we are doing this service, we should not have to pay for that bedroom that is occupied. Justine has two extra bedrooms for foster children. The first room is exempt from changes to housing benefits, but the second one isn't. So she's questioning whether she should foster at all. The fear now is that foster carers will stop taking children in. Instead, those children will have to go to care homes, which will cost the government a lot more to run. It's a service to society, really, by looking after children in this way, giving children a piece of normal family life. Um, the alternative, the fewer foster carers there are, the more likelihood is that children will end up in children's homes. And that's never, never as good. The government says if Justine was renting in the private sector, she would be paying for three bedrooms and that ending the spare room subsidy will make sure claimants in both social and the private rented sector receive the same housing benefit support. But Justine's MP says that doesn't explain why one foster child's room is exempt and the other isn't. A woman like my constituent Justine, who's providing a home for two needy children, um, and therefore has both her bedrooms occupied by children who need somewhere to live, uh, shouldn't be charged as if uh, uh, one bedroom is unoccupied. And uh, that's what the government's got to change, and I'm pressing them very hard to see the error of their ways and to uh, make the change in policy that's necessary to encourage foster carers to foster. I do this on my own. I'm not with a partner, you know, so I don't have another income coming into this house. It's literally me, and it's wrong. Justine hopes the government's policy will change. If it doesn't, foster children may no longer have a home here. Spencer Stokes, BBC Look North, York. Also tonight, Sheffield MP Meg Munn has told the Transport Minister she's concerned that safety is being risked by plans to open up the hard shoulder of the M1 in South Yorkshire.